In this video we're going to do a full unboxing of an Astro Pneumatic Tool Company 7585 radiator system tester and fill device. This has uh, both vacuum and fill function as well as pressurize and uh, pressure test functions. Pretty complete kit. It actually comes in a much bigger box than uh, it looks like from the pictures. Um, it's actually a pretty uh, hardcore size. Um, you know, stands a good, you know, foot and a half tall by, you know, like two feet there. That's a big, big box. But it is a pretty comprehensive kit. So let's open it up. Nice hard case. Standard flap hinges. It's got the company name and the part number molded right into the case. So it's not just some other uh, Chinese kit. Uh, they are the manufacturer of this kit. And in the box, we get a basic uh, two page instruction seat. But it has pretty much all the vital information. And if you've never used one, um, once you do it once, you pretty much know how to use all of these. Uh, it's pretty simple. Um, but this is a complete kit. It does both uh, cap and pressure testing as well as vacuum uh, fill and vacuum leak testing. So uh, it's pretty pretty good kit. So first page basically goes over the various functions, four different functions. Second page has the various models and what the different caps go to. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I'll just gonna grab a cap and make sure I know which one fits. Like for Ford, it's the gray one. Goes right on the degas bottle on most Fords. Once you know what color goes for your vehicle, um, you're gonna remember it by color pretty much. So let's take an up close look here. In the top half of the kit, you get the cap tester and the pressure tester with quick connects. Everything's got quick connect. It does have a pressure relief valve on it. You get a thermometer and you get your fill and drain hoses. Um, that's for sucking coolant out of a bottle when you're filling a system. And that's your discharge hose right there. Pretty nice uh, brass fitting on there. I like the way they did that. It's got a screen on it with a little snap ring in there and uh, quick connect fitting on there. Um, some of the, even the more name brand kits, uh, you can't really disconnect them. They all stay together and they're harder to clean. So with this kit, everything is quick connect, really easy to take apart. Uh, looking at the caps, they are uh, made of like an ABS or a nylon. I believe it says nylon in the, in the manual. They all have a nice quick connect on them, make it easy. But they are all engineered to fit perfectly. They all, the ones that need O-rings have O-rings. When they need dual O-rings, they have dual O-rings. When they need uh, triple O-rings, they have triple O-rings. Very uh, well engineered uh, cap adapters there. And you've got pretty much the full range. Uh, if you guys find one that this kit does not do, go ahead and uh, post a comment in the video description below and we'll get this going. But as far as I can tell, it does pretty much every uh, American and import model. And for the ones that it doesn't directly adapt to, you've got the good old standard cone adapter that just goes right down in the top of the degas bottle or the radiator. Um, in fact, some of the cheaper kits only come with that. So the fact that they even come with all these adapters at all uh, is a big plus. And that's basically what you're paying for in a kit like this. You're getting the engineered, well-designed caps to go with your makes and models. Um, pretty much essential for any shop to have a setup like this. You at the very least need your, your vacuum fill and leak down tester for your radiator systems. Uh, you got the standard old metal style. All three sides are there. You even got a little wrench for going on the caps to take those out. These two adapters uh, allow you to test your old style metal radiator caps for their relief point. Um, in terms of testing actual radiator caps, you're kind of limited. You've got these two adapters here, and then you've got these three metal adapters that can be used with these two adapters here for actually testing the relief point of a radiator cap. 
um, in terms of like, like going back to Ford here, they don't have one that the Ford cap fits. So uh, you're not going to be able to test quite a few um, radiator caps, but you can do everything else in terms of vehicle testing. And uh, for the most part, it's pretty easy to tell when a cap's bad anyways. Even though a bad cap is like you know half of the problems with cooling systems today, um, you do want to be able to test caps, uh, but you will need special adapters for that. This kit's not going to cover the whole line like it does for actually uh, purge and fill and vacuum down. But uh, it is good enough. I mean, you got the three metal kind. A lot of that covers a pretty big range. With those those five adapters, you can uh, test a lot of caps just not the full line that you can actually do with the full back and leak down test with. Um, this is your little uh, two-way snap adapter. Goes right on the little radiator cap adapters. Allows you to connect uh, both your, uh, your pressure tester and your vacuum tester. So let's take out the pressure tester here. It is a nice solid plastic. Looks like it holds pretty well. Pretty well designed tester. It feels robust. It doesn't feel chintzy. All the hoses are crimped well and they're a nice solid dense hose. In terms of the, the backing adapter, it's pretty well made. It's got this little chain on there to hang it from your hood. I'm probably going to take that off. Um, my my main complaint with this tester is that it's uh, kind of going to be a left-handed device. Um, usually I've got this sitting like right here under the hood and I operate it with my right hand and it's going to be kind of facing that way. Um, I would much rather have the on-off valve over here on the right side for a right-handed person. Um, but that's that's a minor complaint. Um, I may even try to unscrew it and move that whole side over to this side if I can. Um, but that's a pretty minor complaint. Um, some of the, the more name brand ones do have a single button actuator. You press the button for uh, vacuum and fill, um, release it to stop, whereas this one's got like three things you need to set up here. Um, you got your, your suction on off, you've got your air on off, that it'll only suction, and then you've got your uh, actual pneumatic on off. So that's going to control the air into the system. This one's going to control the output while you're doing the back down, and this one's going to be for actually sucking it. So you're going to have to operate three different levers and buttons to do each function, whereas some others have just one valve and a little push button. Not a big deal, uh, but you know, for what you're getting, I think it's going to do a perfectly good job. So I am going to do a full review on this and then we're going to do a full radiator replacement video on this. So make sure you check the links down in the, the description below so you can check out the full review on this. Um, this is mainly an unboxing and first impression. And uh, pretty much that's the only thing I can find. The fact that it seems more left handed than right and the fact that there's one extra valve to operate. Um, not a big deal, it kind of does give you more control over the system, um, but you know, different people have their quirks. Uh, the, the old snap-on one that we've been using for years, all it has is this little cone adapter, uh, but it's like right-handed, it's got one single push button, very easy to use, but it's just a, you know, a, a learning curve, you just got to learn to use your tools. And this is a great basic setup for any mechanic shop or even the home user. Um, it's got everything you probably want to test pretty much most vehicles, except for the radiator cap part. In that case, maybe you can probably test about half the vehicles out there. Um, the other half, uh, you're gonna have to either buy adapters or you're gonna have to uh, test it another way. In terms of overall quality, um, overall function, I would give it uh, probably an eight and a half out of 10. Uh, the case is designed well. All the adapters are really designed very well. Um, everything's quick connect. Actually, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. Make sure you check out the full video review down below and subscribe to the channel.